Hey everybody, we're down in the Weather Center with Rhonda Shelby once again on a Thursday. And Rhonda, another frosty ride in this morning, although it was very clear and very pretty out. Yeah, gorgeous weather. We finally get the clouds to clear out today. Uh, slight easterly flow in the upper levels of the atmosphere is what's doing that today. And that's going to continue for you throughout the rest of the day. There are a few areas with patchy fog and freezing fog, but a far less than yesterday. So we're in really good shape today. Let's talk seven day. Uh, about this time every morning, we start looking at the weekend, of course. Oh, yeah. I get asked that question all day long on Thursday, usually. So here's how things are looking. Um, tomorrow morning into tomorrow, I don't think we see this much sunshine. I think it'll be a foggy morning. That uh, fog will lift into an overcast layer and hang over the city, just like it did yesterday, and maybe 40, <laughs> possibly, but pos possibly 39 for Burr. a high. Now, Saturday and Sunday, we have more clouds associated with a storm system passing through. It's so weak, though, it won't break down the strong ridge that's been keeping the rain out. So mostly cloudy skies, temperatures in the mid 40s, possibly some sprinkles Saturday night. Don't be shocked if you see that. Looks like we'll keep this dry weather through Monday of next week. And then computer models show a big pattern shift back to a more consolidated jet stream that's pointed at Oregon and Washington and rain on the way for several days in a row, off and on rain, rain and then showers, as you see there on Tuesday and Wednesday. What's that chance on Wednesday? Chance of what? Chance of showers, generally. I mean, there is a possibility of some snow dropping down to around 2,000 feet, maybe as low as 1,500, but nothing for us to worry about here in the metro area. Uh, that's no fun. We're into that time of the year that we'll start to see snow levels dropping, so, you know, just be patient. End of December, I'm sure we'll see it a few times. Uh, this is a lot of dry days for a December. How are we doing like snowpack, water, all that stuff? It, it is basically just screeching halt is the way I describe it because uh, right now a lot of that is melting. It's been warmer because of the inversion up in the mountains than it has been down here in the valley. So it's about time for some new snow to start picking things up. Right now, we are behind in the rainfall category for the valley by about 1.3 inches for the month of December. Time to start catching up. We need a big snowstorm to catch us all up. This or that, doesn't matter to me as long as it's moisture. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Rhonda, we'll check in again tomorrow. Thanks very much.